Most of us by now are familiar with the bullet time effect with the Insta360 ONE R and the Insta360 ONE X. Well I've been experimenting with something new that I've called the bullet time jump and I want to show you how to do it. And hang around until the end and I'll show you how to make this shot even better by reframing it outside of bullet time mode. My name is Rich and this channel is dedicated to making 360 easier for everyone so you can have more fun with your 360 camera. So please hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you're told straight away when I upload new videos. For this video I use the Insta360 ONE X, the bullet time handle, the Insta360 selfie stick, two super clamps and a ground spike. With regards to the clamps that I used I cobbled together what I had at home but please share with me your ideas because I'm sure there are better ways to do this. So grab your bullet time handle and clamp it into the super clamp. You have to clamp it firmly enough that it doesn't move but not so tight that you break the handle as the handle was plastic and not very strong. Now attach this super clamp to another super clamp using a spigot and the spigot hole in the clamp. Then attach the ground spike to the super clamp using the quarter inch thread. You're now ready to place it in the ground so find somewhere that is firm and flat with no debris such as sticks and stones etc. Now wind the spike in as low as it can go into the ground and make sure that it sits straight. Now attach your selfie stick and the Insta360 ONE X. Position the ONE X so that the stitch line is horizontal. If you mount it vertically, the stitch line will fall across you throughout the shot. Extend the selfie stick to one section short of full length. If you go to full length on the selfie stick, that extra leverage will make the mount lean and then your camera will end up touching the ground. If you find a real solid bit of ground and you're confident that your mount will stay still, then ball means extend your selfie stick to the full extension. But if you're in any doubts at all, then shorten your selfie stick or move to a different area where the ground is more firm. If the ground is really solid or you have a better contraption than the one that I've come up with, maybe a bigger spike or something like that, then you can use the Insta360 ONE-R. But with the setup that I've got, the Insta360 ONE-R is just too heavy and it touches the grass. After I shot this video I found an alternative method for the mount using one super clamp and three temp pegs. Set the camera to bullet time and do it on the camera itself rather than on the app because that makes it easier when you start recording and it saves you having to put your phone in and out of your pocket. Slowly move the selfie stick around to make sure there's enough ground clearance and to make sure you don't hit anything and that everything is steady. You're now ready to take the shot. Stand midway along the selfie stick with the selfie stick behind your legs. Now gently take hold of the selfie stick and spin it around towards you and it should go round about two to three times if everything is level. And as it approaches you, you simply jump over the selfie stick. Warning! Do not try this at home if you are uncoordinated or clumsy. As I said earlier, there is an alternative method for shooting this clip, but if you want to do it the way that we've just seen, then you can simply just edit it by trimming it adding music, changing the aspect ratio and then exporting it. If you want more flexibility with the framing so that you can reframe it so you don't chop your head off as the camera swings round, then you can shoot it out of bullet time mode using 3K 100 frames per second or if you don't want it as slow you can shoot it in higher quality at 4K at 50 frames per second. And then to edit this shot you just need to add keyframes either in the mobile app or in Insta360 Studio and you just keep your full body in shot and in the middle of the frame every time you add a keyframe. You can watch these two videos next and please remember to subscribe to learn more awesome 360 video shots and I'll see you on the next video. <laughs>